Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop for 10 minutes. Tornado building action, baby. <laughs> okay guys, I got this thing ready to fire up. I gotta get this fired up today and get everything else. I'm gonna hit this thing hard, try and get it out of the shop. Uh, you know, this was one of my buddies, man. I couldn't leave him hanging. So, you know, I gotta get back on the thunder chief. <laughs> you know what I mean? Guys, but I got it all ready to fire up. I kind of like to start them up like this, so uh, you know, I, I, if I got to do any more work, I don't have everything in there. So uh, I'm gonna fire this bad boy up just like she sits. Okay, I got my ground unit. That's gonna tell me my pump voltage. And my temperature, that's really what I want to watch for on these initial runs. Okay, turn the radio on. Sounds like country western song, don't it? <laughs> you guys are crazy. <laughs> okay, let's put this where y'all can see it a little better. So I not catch you on fire.
system to lower your pump bolt. Successful test run of the P60. That's a Jet Cat P60, by the way. So it's just cooling down now. I'm gonna fuel off. Now I have to put a dot in my vent to where I'm working on it. It won't work leak fuel. Even though I drained the fuel out of it, you know, a little bit's always left in there. So Pete, there you go, your turbine runs. He was all worried about it running. <laughs> he wanted to hook it up on a test stand. I said, man, let's just bolt it on the plane. It'll run. So we're at 130 degrees, cools till it's around 100. You can see it cool down faster when that when the motor's turning, you see, it goes a lot faster. Probably because it's cold out. Okay, it's done. Maybe one more time. Nope. There we go. Turbine test. Well, P60 was a success. See, that's how it usually goes with me and Jack Cats about any other brand. Get down to them AMTs, baby. <laughs> no, that was me. That was my mistake. I'm going to take full credit for that. But we got them working. Still ain't got my wings yet, though. I was just sitting there, waiting patiently. But uh, I'm going to get the rest of this put together today. It ain't going to take me long. Uh, Pete's got most of the servos in. I just got to make some push rods, and he's got—he's already got him a little shelf made. And uh, don't really have a whole lot to do. To some people, it's miles, but to me, that's nothing. That's gravy, baby. <laughs> that's gravy. So we got a minute to kill. We got a minute to kill here. <laughs> We're gonna go. <laughs> oh, we can drain fuel for the last minute. Oh, someone said something about this tank. You know, uh, I kind of leaving all the research up to Pete. I don't have time to sit there and read all them posts on RC Universe. And I told him to research everything and how everything was, and uh, we couldn't really find nothing bad so far on RC Universe concerning the gas tank or anything. But if, has anyone had bad experiences with these tanks? They sure ain't talking about it on RCU. But um, we'll get her figured out. So, I might make a video here in a little bit. As I'm putting this thing together. So we'll see you back in the shop. St. Bob time. St. Bob station.